Alright, what's up guys? Welcome back to another episode of Hypixel Solo Skyblock. So today, I got myself a really strong maxed out armor set that's perfect for early game players. The only catch is that you can only get this armor inside of dungeons, which is a place where players have to fight a ton of high level mobs. And for anyone who's new, I'm still wearing farm armor, so this is going to be kind of interesting. So yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed this chaotic episode. We're also getting really close to 200k, so definitely check if you're in the 25% of people who are already subscribed, because if you're not, the worst case scenario is that you can just unsubscribe. But yeah, that's about it for the intro, let's go on with the video. Alright guys, welcome back to the second episode of Hypixel Solo Skyboard. Just as a quick recap, in my last episode I got this magnetic diamond pickaxe, which is a fully maxed out diamond pick that I can use to go ahead and collect the minions and just like, go to the lapis mines and collect levels as well if I ever need to. I also got myself some early game armor, so it's like half farm armor and then half lapis armor. And that's pretty much it, like, the only other thing that I did was get my skills to level 7. As you guys can see, I have farming 7, mining 7, and foraging 7 right now. And that means I have access to the bizarre NPC right here, which means that I can make money by just, like, bizarre flipping a merch and flipping a bit later. Also, you guys might have noticed, I have this common monkey pet in my whole bar. And basically I got this when the last traveling zoo event happened, so... I was actually streaming at the time, so I switched profile and bought this for 10,000 coins, and I think it's 64 acacia logs. And whenever you try and buy one of these from the auction house, I think they sell for like 30 to 40,000 coins, so I got it really cheap. So yeah, I can go ahead and place this down right now, and basically what I'm gonna do today is get myself a really strong early game armor set and sword, and then I'm basically just gonna go to the park over here and break some logs and just make some money through like using haste potions and an efficiency 5 gold axe. So yeah, basically I logged on yesterday, and I was looking through the auction house for cheap armor sets and swords that I could use to like easily clear out the deep caverns and also maybe even go to the crypt or the end. And I basically noticed that if you sort by lowest price, and just kind of like filter through these swords. You guys can see that all of these items have durability, and that's because they're actually dungeon items. So for early game players, these are actually really good to get because they're already enchanted and they have like really good base stats, but the catch is that you need catacombs level 5. So yeah, basically the next clip that you guys are about to see is from last night when I figured out that you could use these dungeon items if you got like a really low catacombs level requirement. So that's why my coins are about to go up to like 60,000 because I've kind of spent them all right now. Alright, so... Here's my plan, I'm gonna go to the auction house and buy myself a zombie soldier cutlass, which is a kind of good dungeon sword, and it's completely enchanted. This one has really good stats to be fair, 82. Yeah, I'm just gonna buy this for 16k, alright, let's do it. And uh, yeah, I need catacombs level 5 to actually use this sword, but I'm pretty sure if I just go into like a random party and do one floor 4 run, then I can go ahead and just like use this sword and use it to kill mobs and like use the looting. I can one tap like things in the mines. Alright, so here's what we're gonna do, okay? I'm basically gonna leech into a party and just let them carry me, okay? We're gonna go to the entrance here. <laughs> Dude, why am I doing dungeons? Alright, I'm in a full entrance party now. All of these people are like level one, two, zero, and they have they have dragon armor. Let's go. Any of you guys can do this, okay? This isn't like a YouTube rank abuse thing, because everybody's on the same level. But obviously, <laughs> I'm wearing farm armor right now. I guess I'll just go healer and like try and help out my team. Dude, this is gonna be the dumbest thing. And then basically after like 20 minutes of playtime, I should unlock Catacombs level 5 and be able to use the zombie soldier cutlass I have. I'm just gonna let my party carry me, okay? I can't even one-tap lapis like zombies. And there's these crypt lurkers with 1.2 thousand health. What am I meant to do? I'm pretty sure I'll be able to use some armor as well if I like get Catacombs 5, so... Yeah, when I said that this solo series would be different to other players, I wasn't lying, okay? I'm only this far in the series and I'm already playing dungeons, like what is going on, dude? Trust me, this is the strat, okay? Dude, this, this is an angry archaeologist versus me in farm armor. You guys ready for this? Alright, we're going, we're going. We're going to the fairy room, to the fairy room, to the fairy room! Oh, they're all coming for me! Oh my... Okay, no, it's fine. What's this? It's a puzzle room. Okay, yeah, something I can actually be useful for. Dude, I can't believe I'm actually, like, playing dungeons on this profile. What is even going on? Yes! Alright, we finished. I think we finished the run, right? We just go through. Yes, dude. Okay, so I got 84 Catacombs experience, and that means that I am now, officially, level 1 and halfway to level 2. Okay. Alright, floor 1, here we go. I'm in a party of 5. We have some people with adaptive armor. Dude, this is gonna be so good. This zombie soldier cutlass is gonna be mine, okay? Wait, I'm gonna take the holy frags. I'm gonna take the holy frags. Okay. Oh, he's dead. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's good, actually. What the f- And I just completed floor 1. Okay, so I got a B, which gave me 138 catacombs experience, and I guess we're gonna head to floor 2. Oh, I found a sword. Yes. 
Yes, dude. This is so good. Combat level too low. Combat level 7 required. Alright, well, to the Lapis Mines I go. Dude, this is actually just the most insane episode. Like, I don't even know what to say. Wait, let me see if I got the combat boost. There's no way, dude. 30,000. Okay. So I saw this combat boost had no bids, and I waited till exactly like 5 minutes and 1 second to place this, so nobody would like compete with me. I tried getting these for cheap as well, but these got bid up really high. But 30,000 coins for an uncommon combat XP boost is absolutely crazy. So what I'm going to do right now is claim the wasted coins on these swords that I was trying to get. I think it's like 4,000 for each one, there we go. Then I'm going to claim this combat XP boost right here. I'm going to leave the combat XP boost in my ender chest, because it's kind of tough to get an end of them right now. Like, I can't really see any common ones. Ones, and that's the only one that's really worth it. I'll explain why a bit later, but I think I'm just gonna go to the Lapis Mines and try and grind for Combat 7 so I can do a Floor 2. And then I can unlock this sword, obviously, and get some good armor, and it's just gonna speed up me getting to the mid game like a lot. Alright, so we're in the deep caverns now. I have my full farm armor, and I'm just gonna travel down to the Lapis Mines. Bang. Alright, so I think I can two hit the Lapis. Oh, wait. Oh, can I one-tap them? How did that happen? Maybe it's the Foraging 7, I'm guessing it is. Yeah, so if you guys are Foraging 7 and have a First Strike 4 Undead Sword, you can just one-tap them. Alright, perfect. Alright, I'll be back once my, uh... Oh wait, I'm leveling up my monkey at the same time. Okay, that's cool. But yeah, I'll be back once I have Combat 7. Oh, Lapis Boots. Alright, that's good. That's an upgrade. 5 extra defense and a bit more XP. Gotta love it. A lapis crystal. Dude, I've killed like five zombies so far and I've already made like- This isn't actually worth that much, but it sells for like 1,000 coins, which is pretty good. I can definitely toss out the farm suit boots since they're just so like worthless. Taming level one. Okay. We get some coins from that. 1% extra pet XP. Okay, that'll come in kind of handy in like a future video. Monkey level three. <laughs> this is like genuinely just the most scuffed skyblock video ever. Leveling a monkey by doing combat. Doing dungeons on episode two. Like what even? Okay. Five more zombies and then we have it. And the final one, there we go, combat 7. Alright, I'm gonna travel back to the dungeon sub right now. Yes, I found a floor 2 party, okay perfect. These guys are all really low level, so I don't know if we're even gonna clear it, but I mean, I'm in a party now, so we'll see how it goes. Okay, come on, please give me XP this time. I completed it last time and didn't get any. How much did I get? 138, okay. What's in here? Hot potato book for 50k coins. Dude, I just made so much profit. Do I even have 50k coins? Come on, am I Catacombs 5? Please, 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 come on. Yes! Alright, Catacombs 5 has been achieved, and I got a sword that I can sell, and some leggings that I can sell. Alright, I'm also just gonna put this in the bazaar, toss out this, and I'm just gonna auction these things as well. My Zombie Knight sword sold for 5.5k, so, you know, I have a bit of money now. And I think now I'm just gonna try and see if there's any armor sets that require Catacombs 5, because if there are, then I definitely wanna try and buy it, so... Rotten armor, okay. The stats of this are actually good. Like, obviously it's fully enchanted. Wait, I have the requirement, I think. Actually, I don't even think they have a requirement, so... If you guys are watching this video and you don't wanna do the dungeons thing, you can probably go buy this and you'll have like Depth Strider 3, just every enchantment. Heavy armor, okay I could buy heavy armor, that'd be kinda good. I might go for full rotten armor, just, just cause. Alright yeah, I'm gonna buy full rotten armor <laughs> and then use the uh, fair zombie soldier cutlass and just see like if it's good. Alright, we're gonna buy a helmet, I just wanna try and find one with good stats, so... This one seems to be better. Okay, this one's got good stats, let me buy this. Alright, we have the helmet, chest plate for 7k, leggings for 10k, and boots for six. There we go. <laughs> Dude, look at this armor set. I'm gonna put it in my wardrobe. Alright, so we have our lapis armor here, our farm armor here, and then the full rotten armor here. Whoa, dude, look at that armor set. Okay, so look at this transition in stats. So, right now I have 117 defense, and 22 strength, and 120 health. And if I hold the zombie soldier cutlass, and put on the new armor that I just got in like an hour of playtime, look at this. 931 HP, 130 strength, 153 defense, Bonus attack speed 100%, so I attack two times as fast. Dude, this is so good. This is genuinely so good. I'm also gonna try and reforge my armor too, so I wanna try and get this. It's 500 coins each time, so... Okay, pure is kind of the one that I want because it gives you crit chance and crit damage, so I'm just gonna reforge until I get pure on everything. Pure, there we go. So, oh yeah, I also want to reforge the sword as well. Heroic, odd, heroic. Come on, give me sharp. Yes, dude. My crit damage is plus 90%. My crit chance is plus 14, okay yeah, this is so good. My crit chance right now is 72%, and I don't even have any talismans. That's crazy, dude. That's actually insane. Also, it's late at night, so I probably sound really dead, 
but like I just didn't even think this would be a viable strategy for early game, but clearly it is. Let's see how much damage I deal to Lapis zombies now. Oh yeah, also don't forget the item abilities, so it heals me for plus 10 health whenever I hit an enemy. And I think that plays a noise too that's going to be kind of satisfying, or possibly annoying, but we'll see. Alright, Lapis Quarry, so let me just see if I can one-tap a Lapis zombie here. 680 damage? What? Okay, right, we're going down. Diamond Reserve. Can I one-tap the Diamond Reserve zombies? Let's see. Okay, come on. Yes, dude. 24 combat per thing. And I, they don't even do much damage. They do one heart per hit and I heal like 10. Okay, we're going to go down to the Obsidian Sanctuary. Let's see what happens. Can I one-tap these? I'm pretty sure... I dude, this is so good. This is actually so good. I don't have any talismans. I have like just the freest gear it literally cost me like 40k coins and now i can just run around getting myself combat 8 so i mean i've already got combat 8 dude this is just this is so good this is actually so good and i don't even have a combat pet as well and i have a fully enchanted sword so i get looting i have luck so i can get minor armor if i want to and i'm obviously going to use this to go to the farm as well wait how much am i 1.7k what the okay look at this here we go so i'm gonna sword swap and we're gonna deal Oh wait, I got a minor helmet. Yes, dude. Okay, that's good. Okay, take a look at this. I'm going to sword swap and we're going to see how much damage I can deal. So, let's do it. 3.1k. Let's go, dude. And I can consistently do that if I really need to, like, hit some, you know, kind of high damage mobs. Okay, so the zombies here, I deal 1.7k damage to. So, I want to see if I can, like, maybe tap a crypt school. Let's see. So, I do 1.9k to a Crypt School, but if I Sword Swap, then I deal 3.1, okay. Dude, I can literally just one-tap Crypt Schools, and I haven't done anything on this profile apart from unlock the Bazaar and then just start playing dungeons. So I'm just gonna grind Combat 9 right now and see how much damage that actually gives me, because the percentage increase is probably gonna up my damage by, like, fully, like, 100. Also, keep in mind that I have plus 100% attack speed, so I can do this. Look at this. Do you see how quick I can, like, do two consecutive hits? It's, like... It's literally the max amount in Skyblock. So I'm pretty much like one tapping them because obviously the distance between it is so small. This is a really good example actually. Let me show you guys. So what I'm going to do right now is just start comboing this. All right, this is plus 100% attack speed. Look at this. Dude, it's flying. It's literally flying. Dude, this sword is so OP. Look at this. I'm literally clicking like 9 CPS because it's late or whatever, but I can literally make mobs fly if I want to. That's so good. All right, let me just kill like two more to get combat level 8 and see how much damage I deal. Oh wait, combat level 9, I forgot. Okay, okay, I'm not quite one-tapping them, but I'm so close. I'm literally so close. Look at this. 1.96. And I could literally grind combat 10 if I- Okay, so after this, I recorded a ton of clips of me foraging, but I realized that the video is already 12 minutes and 30 seconds long, so... I'm just gonna save that footage till next time, so yeah, that's about it for today. If you guys did enjoy this episode, then definitely leave a like down below. I'm gonna try and upload every 2 to 3 days for this series. And obviously these videos take a really long time for me to edit, so... Definitely leave a like if you guys did enjoy, and yeah, I'll see you guys all later. Peace.